But if you change your perspective and find spirit, the actual spirit in everything, recognition of the space, recognition of the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, the Grand Spirit that is everywhere and is in everything, the recognition of that then you find God and you find the Spirit in everything and everywhere. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter what you're doing, where you are, you begin to develop the vision and you begin to see that in everything everything starts to become spiritual so gradually through this shift of your vision and your consciousness this view that you start to change gradually you begin to see the broader picture and you begin to see your own role into the big picture that how you are serving the spirit now i have a lot of people come to me and i've been there myself saying that okay i really want to make my living from being a healer i i want to be a healer i want to be a spiritual counselor i want to be a channeler i want to be uh, a medium and and that's how i want to make my living and that's very valid and that's that's a desire that a lot of us have on spiritual path but not always things are gonna go in that direction that we want them to go and sometimes you have to do something else Something else has presented itself to you in life for making a living. So, and something else is opened itself and it's easier to do or it's happening. Something else is happening versus the idea that you have that my way of making a living, it must be within the uh, frame uh, of the thoughts and the concepts and ideas that I have, which has to be quote unquote spiritual. And since I'm not m making my living from that, then um, I hate myself or I hate my life. I hate everybody and uh, I'm out of the path. And that's then you will be suffering you will suffer so now I will explain this other part of it that identification when you're identifying okay let's say you're a school teacher let's say you're an engineer let's say um i don't know you're a nurse let's say whatever you know what whatever you're working in an office um you're working in 7-eleven something like that, you're a clerk, you work in a bank, whatever you're doing. So it ultimately comes to this point of how you're perceiving yourself. Ultimately, always, everything comes into one thing, how you view yourself. Where is your sense of identification? Where do you, with what you really strongly identify? 
So if you're identifying very strongly that you're a banker or you're, you're a teller in a bank and you really identify yourself as that, then, and you're not happy, you're, you're on spiritual path, and, but you're trapped and you don't have this understanding and you're really identifying with your job of what you're doing, that what you're doing is not spiritual, then you're in trouble. Then, then you have put yourself in a situation that you're going to be suffering. By changing your vision and developing your, increasing your level of consciousness that, okay, I don't, I sell insurance, I'm in insurance industry and, and that's where I make my living but that's not my sense of identification. That's not who I am. That's not how I define myself. And I'm, I'm a spiritual being. And not even with this, because <clears throat> look, this is interesting because this could be another trap too, because you have to be careful the the, Ego is very sneaky, and it can just sneak in from any directions. So even by being proud within yourself that I'm a spiritual being, and I am vegetarian, I'm really vegan, you know, I go to yoga, and I meditate, and then I start to develop this false sense of identification of a sense of feeling of superiority to the mainstream people that i'm better than them and i hear this a lot in in spiritual community i have i know a lot of people that they start to blame the mainstream people and saying that how unconscious they are the level of unconsciousness and I can sense that by because they're vegan or they are vegetarian and they do yoga or meditation all of a the sudden there's this sense of arrogance that they're better well here is you're exactly in a trap right now because you're no different in in this situation than the mainstream people or the unconscious people there's absolutely no separation now because you have developed and cultivated this spiritual ego which is being fed from your spiritual practice and this sense of identification to a system and a concept of how now you're viewing yourself so you have given up one way of identification, identifying and a system and replaced it with another one under the pretense of being spiritual. And now you're still in separation because you are an independent entity separated from totality and because you do your practice, you're better.